So I say let's go and finish it, shall we? Oh boy. Let's see. Here it is. Dawn Trail. Now let's let's go and finish this journey, shall we? We have to summon Dolly, I can use her spiritual e boat. Or else we shall do and we'll have to do it without the power of Dolly. We shall see, Tito, but we shall continue for now until we get to that point. We'll carry out Kachu as the plan. It's our best chance at stopping Steen. We are to an extent basically the X-Men, yeah. It will be dangerous. I shouldn't doubt. Uh, we are all prepared, I assume. That goes without saying. Come, we head to the Mason Miso Terminal. Maybe you can fuck up Final Fantasy. Well, let's be honest, mutant powers would fuck up most people. That's sometimes more important. I think always that uh, could be said about, like something like, Iceman. No good. Seems we can't simply shut down the Miso terminal like the others. Not surprising in the least. My mother did tell its defenses are tight. But she also left a means of circumventing them. A program that will send your souls into the terminal's memory banks. In fact, me and Agnew say I can stop the world but I'm gonna kill uh, many mutants. Or for example, he don't kill too much with, with his ability because he wants to demonstrate it. Well, point sometimes but fuck them kids i choose side with magneto yeah but that's just it magneto go his his way of going about it is wrong but his intentions aren't even that evil it, it is actually shown in the 19 in the new uh x-men 97 show where he actually just stops the rotation of the earth or actually no not that he just he goes to the north pole and he actually unleashes a Electromagnetic pulse across the entire globe. He EMPs the entire world. The dude is powerful on a massive scale. Alright. Therein lies a virtual domain generated by scenes memories. So we would venture into this domain and, uh, and then seek out and stop scene. That is the idea, I believe. If our souls are tra transferred in their, in their entirety, dying in that domain would be no different from dying outside of it. There is no guarantee of safe return. Well, I think that was obvious from the start. We have a good reason to be this bad. We know where, where he was when he was a kid, so taking that in, ca in account... Uh, into account, the, the trauma in this man is, it is quite reasonable and controlled. Compared to others who do at least worse things. Oh, absolutely. He's... They showed him off pretty well in the 97 series as well. They did it in general in back with that. They've sometimes in some iterations have made him way worse. That they make him seem way more villainous than he should be. But yeah, considering what he's been through. He is... He's the... He's a model of self-restraint if you think about it. Nonetheless, that is a risk we must take. We've already come this far, and I'll be damned if I'm going to turn back now. Meeting the Endless, I've gained a better understanding of Sveen and the burden she bears. I want to say a few things to her when we meet again, even if it doesn't make a difference. Without taking into account that uh, they show his trauma when he was a child, but they didn't show when the Russians burn his daughter alive. Is that from the movies, or the... Oh, right, yeah, now I remember. Yeah, they did do that, too. Gee, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, it's, it's the fact that the guy is still just, well, that's just it. Like, it depends on which iteration, but in some versions, he, they do present him as if he's trying to be a supremacist, which you'd think, which is very contradictory because he has been, he himself was the victim of, of the hatred of supremacists. So, whatever happens, we won't let Sveen walk her misguided path any longer. 
for those we've yet to meet. I'll do all I can to provide support. Mother has instructed me on her program uh, as well as the world within the terminal. I'll also keep an eye on your buddies while you're all gone. Should it come to it though, I won't hesitate to call on our comrades outside. I'm acutely aware of my limits. <laughs> oh, we know, Aaron, though. But not everybody has to be the combatant. Hey, he's basically the guy who knows. He's the one who wields campfire, so. Upon entering the terminal, we, must, we will most certainly meet with fierce resistance from its defenses. Then there is Sveen herself. In order to initiate interdimensional fusion, she said she intends to erase her own memory. The manner of entity she will become as a result, none can say. Doing Gwen and Becky is going to help with the final dungeon. Okay, thank you! Hold on, I'm just going through it. If she invokes the key and opens portals to other worlds, she would have access to vast amounts of ether to begin to bring to bear against them. We must be prepared for anything. We always are. I think the granddaughter of Magneto is one third inhuman, one third mutant, and one third super. Imagine doing with one with only her first power. She was almost on par with Doctor X. Why am I not surprised? Whatever we encounter won't change our objective, and it won't change what I'll do. Come, my friends, it's time to settle this. I guess it's dungeon time. Alexandria now accessible. Oh, this Alexandria looks quite lovely. Something tells me that we're about to see some horrid, horrible shit in here. What, an, what a quaint little village. Of better days, I bid farewell. What kind of horrible shit are we about to see? Oh, you can already see some Have of the electro. Heard? Princess Fien is here. You can see the electro integration already into the society. Oh dear. I've only seen things like this before. Kaboom! Just gotta take care of these ugly bastards. So we're gonna see like techno stuff showing up out of nowhere in here. Your smile means all is right. I will keep an if eye out I for smile, treasure chests. It is because you all smile for me. You know, I won't be able to really read any attacks at the moment. There we go. 
go. Oh, that. Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting uh, a techno elephant to suddenly show up out of nowhere. Full memory cache. Oh, that's never a good sign. Ah. Something tells me this is going to get a lot more complicated at some point. Oh, I get it. Am I supposed to... Oh. Oh! I get it. Got it. Sorry. Not the best time for this, Tito. Oh, okay. Jesus. This is a tricky fight. I am a hypocrite. I am a sociopath. So my three evil plants tell my evil. Yeah, okay. You are my people, and I will protect you. Oh, this is a bit different than expected. The painful memories of war. I lay but I'll rest. take a hydrate then now. Treasure. Hmm. Go. 
Well, this uh, scene has suddenly changed a bit in aesthetic, hasn't it? Oh dear. Just these two things? Yeah, okay, it is. Oh dear. Read for that. Whoa. All right, what are we facing this time? My eyes! Oh, that. I'll means. be back. Hey then. No! He's. The room is. Get out, you mad fuck! Thank you! Jesus Christ! What the fuck, Tito? Oh, ooh, yeah. A real fan rage have uh, okay to do sonic attack. I guess so, huh? Oh. What's he gonna do now? Thankfully, I know how this works. There we go. Thank you for the lurk, Tito. Thank you.
There we are. Easy enough. Fear not. You will all live on. And at the last, my final endless. Oh yeah, the further we deep in, the deeper we go in, and the more we mess with stuff, the more things start looking a bit messed up. Oh, I'll uh, just wait that out. Enough. They've done it. They preserved the queen. I'll have to pass on this one. We can't give up. Not until we keep complete. This is a very cool aesthetic, though, for this dungeon. The way that this looks. Like the further we go in, the more gradually it starts deteriorating. <laughs> She was being corrupted by dubstep. Good thing that we're here to stop that. Facing off against here. Okay, bleeding edge technology eliminator. That's an uh, that is a unique little looking toy. Okay, I see. Oh, I see how that works. Uh, 
Uh, this is interesting. Good news. Oh, that is bright. Oh, I see how that works. a good time to do it. Oh, crap. Oh. Well, we are kind of fighting like the equivalent of a sentinel, so it's kind of fitting. Thank you, Gwen and Basil. They hit your bucket of boats. Yeah, let me do that stretch. GG, thank you. Hey, Gwen. Give me a sec now that you're here. Girls. Mammals of all shapes and sizes. By the way, terrible VR game. I think this thing is still in an early alpha build. We have entered into the matrix. Are we about to meet the architect? <laughs> yeah, this is kind of how I expect the, the look from the inside. Steen! Steen, listen to me, please! I'm afraid she's gone. Just a little bit. Synchronization will soon be complete. Oh dear. Okay, bye. Uh oh. Yeah, I figured something like this was gonna happen. Oh dear, that looks um synchronization complete. Data for the endless fiend has been overwritten and reconfigured. All shall be well henceforth and in perpetuity. Forever will I keep and cherish my people. To that end, I have removed the remaining checks upon my authority.
the ultimate IT IT support uh, enemy. Wait. Wait. I still have it Be gone from my presence. So. So why not me? Uh, if this is the moment when you're about to ask me out, like this is a very bad time to do that. According to Eliminator's battle data, you pose the single greatest threat. Oh, so that's why she's keeping me separate. As such, you will be erased here and now. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but I defeated the actual incarnation of Oblivion, so um, I think I could deal with an uh, out of control little CPU. I'm guessing that's her endless body. I am the bearer of the memories of Queen Sphene of Alexandria, and my desire to protect my people transcends all others. If it were you, could you have found another way? With your strength, could you have held fast to that which is dear without sacrifice? Listen to me. There's something that I need to tell you. Every time she wanted to tell us, she had to clamp up because of one of those drones. Is that concern or suspicion? <laughs> if things should take a turn for the worse... Mind... I... Uh, sorry, I'm going for a tunnel. You're breaking up, girl. I know what I have to do. I'm shutting you down. I know what I have to do. Oh, we're getting that techno beat too. To the plan will be summarily removed. Yeah, I'm gonna need that boy. Time to use Asm's crystal. Even out here, it still works. <gasps> no! Wait, was the relic then actually plot twist? So the key was from Asm? That just opens up a whole new can of worms. What do they? Greetings and goodbye. Damn, that is. I see how that works. That is...
That is. I got you, Gwen. I got you. Two days. Uh oh. I got it. shit is gonna happen. This fight feels so... Oh! Oh, you've gotta be kidding me! Oh, oh shit! Well, that just happened. Oops. <laughs> no, and it happened again. <laughs> Just leave me be. Thank you, Basil. Go. And this thing is tough. Just fine in one world as it is. Oh shit. Oh no. This shit, I went too late! God, but. I I was seeing people move, but then I saw people standing still, so I was confused. This is a very cool fight though, I will not deny that.
Oh, that's never good when the robot starts turning off its safety. For the for that LB. Jesus. Jesus Christ! What is this thing doing? Hey, Gally. Can get that one back up. Oh, dear God. This is insane! Did we fail? Still in it. Oh, okay. Here we go. Do if you die, I'll raise you into those AOEs myself. Reality? She lost control of the power. Sting, listen to me. Damn. Well, Glamot coming in for that clutch. The uh, uh, galley. Understand. I do. And I know that you won't be swayed from your course. But if there's truly no other way to resolve this, then face me, not as a machine, but as the real you. This is what I desire, and I will not fail. Um, the book will not just make it worse. Just doing the end walker sort of thing, kind of again, I guess. It's 
over, Steen. We will stop you. It feels like it. No! I won't let you! I can't! I will protect my people's happiness! Sorry, girly, you but that ain't happening. With us now. We were buried in your stead. Oh, that was right. There we go. GG! Guess we just reformatted the hard drive, didn't we? There we go, everybody! I will have to admit that there was some plot and influence here with the fact that just Warclamot just yeets herself into the situation. But, yeah. Spin. Spin. Oh, Spin. What has happened to you, my dear? Your voice reached me, Lamachi. Oh. Is it. Is it really you? Sort of. After all, she is the main protagonist. We are just helping. Yeah, I know. I know. I don't shit as much in the story as a, as a number of people do. There are critiques, no, but name which part. one? My memories as a living person are gone. I've been remade from those I had as an endless. However, I cannot remain long, for the Meso Terminal will soon cease to function. That's good, right? I guess, to a certain extent. Once, you wanted to know me, Lamachi. Let my last act be to give an honest accounting. I am, above all, sorry for the suffering I've caused your people and mine. I am ultimately powerless against the inevitable. Unable to do aught but visit harm upon the innocent. I am, in the end, a pitiful, selfish creature. One that should never have been created. Now, now, girl. Now, that's not the sort of talk I want to hear from a queen. Okay, the last one is a little harsh. True, but a little too harsh. You were, me you were merely a sister who created to sustain Alexander. You carry too many gentle memories. You strive to make your people happy. That, her, again, her motivations aren't the worst. It's just her methods that were, you know, a little, um, questionable. So, you strive to make your people happy. Our nations are worlds apart, but they feel so close. Who knows what we could have accomplished had we walked together towards a shared future. And yet, it could never be so. We each had our own to protect. Very much, yeah. Mm. If only I had met you when I was still alive, then perhaps. Well, that would have been impossible to do, although... <laughs> but it's no use dwelling upon a miracle that didn't happen. Still, if there's one thing I hope you'll believe, it is this. Brief though it was, 
I treasured our time together. It pains me to think that its memory will disappear along with me. Girl is I sad. know I have no right to ask this of you, but when I'm gone, my people, will you? We'll take care of them. Don't worry. And we will never forget the Endless. Neither them, nor the time we spent with you. So be free of your burdens, Sveen. And sleep well. I will. Thank you. Hold your head high, my dear. Um, I would like them to be decompartmentalized if that's possible. Ah, yes. I would like this back. This thing holds a few an answers I'd like to have. I'm sure we'll be the imp. The main player after the MSQ since the crystal will play a part in the post MSQ. Obviously. Alexandria. Mm. But I think she meant main character, but and I just say this is just a MacGuffin, though it will play a role. Well, that's usually still the function of a MacGuffin. Oof. How much did I drink, guys? That was one hell of a dream. Gizmo! There we go, of course CPU offline. Then again, what you see here is what the reality of this world is. That's all look. There we are. At the end of it all. So it was that the Meso terminal felt dark and the Endless departed for Oblivion's embrace. Their resplendent paradise was no more, as the memory sustaining it faded with the golden light. Even so, in a way, they live on. I felt with conviction as I basked in the glow of a new dawn. Good 
build the main cast. It remains to be seen how interdimensional fusion may have affected other reflections. And that's probably what the key is going to be helping us with. Kyle's parents spoke of the power's capacity for both good and evil. I cannot help but wonder how Sphinx's deeds will be remembered by those they touched. The key that started it all was entrusted to the adventurer. Probably for the best. Such an artifact certainly lies within the science realm of expertise, and no objection was raised to their retaining it for research. First thing we're going to touch test is how durable it is. Pulls out a hammer. Yeah! By I still like this story. Kona, the sky deep cenote was placed under the strict watch of the landscape. Good reason. Buckle Jaja! With the mighty Bakul Jaja among their number, they shall not want for strength, even in Soralja's absence. Can't believe I actually kind of sort of like the dude. But it shows how they can do character development quite well, even in a short span of time. I still like the music for what it is. And the story was upon learning of their queen's passing, the people of Alexandria mourned and wept. Having devoted herself to sparing them sorrow, the sight might well have moved Sveen to tears. However, with Wuklamat carrying on her legacy, I have faith that her subjects will know joy once more. I'm pretty happy with the MSQ so far. Yeah, I am too. Like, it's supposed to be a more relaxing story. As anticipated, the news that young Gululja had succeeded his father as king was greeted with trepidation. Reception was also mixed when Wuklama came forward to name herself as the boy's guardian. But the people were mollified to learn that Everkeep's systems remained operational and there would be no impact on their lives. One day, when he is older, Kalulja will decide for himself what manner of ruler he will be. Till that day and beyond, may the path of the young king be illuminated by the love of family. <laughs> They're having a celebration. Meanwhile, in Tuliola, the people came together to hail their new dawn servant's great victory. Tacos! We still haven't having gotten our tacos they yet. Lost, they turned their attention to a brighter future and celebrated for three days and nights. Oh, God. Ah, so this is for the cutscene, for the cinematic thing. He gets his taco. No, don't tell me he spilled his taco, please!
<laughs> uh, I've dealt the deal with dragons, not children. Get them away from me. They are young. They can smell his weakness. Not everything had been resolved, though. Yeah, Alexander. Those again. who had spent 30 years in the dome struggled to resume their former lives. This and a host of other challenges remained. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I always think that Wuklavan has such a shit eating grin, but in the best way possible. But as the new Dawn servants continue to lead with strength and wisdom, the people may be assured that peace will endure. Can I honestly say that this keeps gives me such a big So yes, there we are. MSQ of Dawn Trail concluded. But we still got content to do anyway, so. Well, we're going to continue on a little bit longer, but once we're done with this, we, after we've wrapped in the quest line, we will have... Uh, we w Is it, though? Well, at least for now. So... <laughs> but, yes. So, what do I think? I like it. Like, much like you, I am pretty happy with the MSQ as it is. It's supposed to be... As the whole st aesthetic of it is supposed to be, it's supposed to be a relaxing, calming. It's not so much for the whole time with the looming threat of a big, with a great threat, uh, well, looming threat of hanging above our heads compared to, well, both Shadowbringers and Endwalker, since both of those kind of made clear uh, that we were heading towards quite something terrifying. I'm back, I had to compress a video file. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with no world ending theme from the start. Yeah. But that was supposed to be the idea. It's supposed to be the vacation where the hired help. We're supposed to be staying a lot more in the background. Look, Wuklamat is the main character of this, of the narrative, of the story. And we were supposed to simply um, be there to help out. We're, we were the Estinian of this story. Much like how Estinian kind of was central, but was mostly there to deal with, you know, to, to deal with any big threats. That's what we were in this story. We're this story's Estinian. So that's kind of the whole idea of it, and I like it for what it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's very noticeable for this. Like, it's supposed to be about an exploration of a new continent and its unique cultures, and it's pretty clear where the inspiration for many of its cultures come from. I don't think I have to explain that much. And it's supposed to show that um, about how their way of life, like with the Pelu Pelu, the whole idea that they seem like like a mercantile culture, and like oh god, a bunch of you know, silver-tongued sleaze bags. But it turns out, like, sure, they're interested in doing business, but they're never trying to swindle you. So, that's the fun thing about it. And seeing how their technology, of course, had to be... Uh, how they were starting to advance thanks to Kona, bringing knowledge from Charleian, of course. 
I think that there's a lot to it. Now, I understand that sometimes the pacing felt a little off, I won't deny it, especially during the end point with um, the introduction, uh, of course, with the dome and the, Alex and the Alexandrian element of it. Kind of was, we were suddenly like kicking this thing into overdrive, but it was still worked out well. It's like, it's better that it stayed in the back for as long as it could. So it was to be expected that things would accelerate a little more. For the fast and expected. And we kind of all knew that most likely the Soral Zha was going to be the main antagonist. Bakul Zha Zha, on the other hand, of course, quickly stopped being that. And it, but he is, he's someone whose goals and ambitions became more and more twisted due to what he was doing. Like, that's what drove him. He's not meant to be a typical villain. He's not 100% like the classic villain. I love that when you did certain variant dungeons, you got even more lore on the last map. Ah! Okay. But that's sort of the entire idea of how it is. And of course, it's all meant to be quite very much of an homage, of course, to Final Fantasy IX that I know very little bit, aka Kral's parents. Yeah. I haven't done the Varian Dungeons, of course. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna do them. <laughs> but it was supposed to be a journey of, you know, a rite of passage for Wukamat and Kona as well to see them grow into, to see whether they were ready to be leaders, as it was pretty much. And with Galul Zha uh, Galul being the way he is, of course he's gonna be uh, bowing out soon enough. I think that the journey for what it is, the story as it was done, is enjoyable. Like I said, it's meant to be this whole idea of discovering a land that we've only known and heard about, and that we've had none to barely any interaction with any natives from that place. Technically, Aaronville's from there, but, you know, not so much uh, that was clear from the start, so. And we got to explore this continent and see its myriad of colors and everything it had to offer. The local wildlife, the food, the tacos. We still haven't had our tacos. It's, and it's very noticeable also with the role quest, like it's meant to be this more relaxing, calming journey. We're supposed to be doing this, you know, going into our casual clothes, putting on our our shades, cocktail in hand, just sitting there, or like the co coconut drink as uh, Urianje did in the cut in the cinematic, and just and then when it's time, like, oh shit's about to go down, flip, throw that drink over your shoulder, and right, guess I'm here to uh, kick some butt again. And it's interesting, and it actually gives you a nice little idea of how they integrated, like, real-world cultures from South America and, like, into this. And it's very well done, particularly with the Yokui, that is very clearly architectural-wise influenced by, um, by the Incan uh, architectural design. And again, it's very interesting to see and how, and you can see it, like, the dress code and the food is very much all... Heavily inspired, of course, by South American cultures. But I loved it. It was fun. It's a nice, enjoying... It's like a lot of people gave criticism, like, when they turn out and they check, like, the voice files. It's like, why does Wuklamod have so many... It's like, every time when somebody brought it up, why does Wuklamod have so many lines? And I was like, because she's the main character! We're here to help. The whole point of her, us being here is just to... Kind of tone it to just relax, see the sights, help out some folks, but not supposed to be world ending. People were weird, yeah. I think just, I think on that front, it's like, I don't think you understand. We're not the main character here. We're not the chosen hero. We're not the ones who are being asked to play the hero. We're here to help out the real he appointed hero of this story. Go along with it. It was fun. What Lamont is. I like Wokloma the way she is. 
Like, she's enjoyable. Like, is she really feels... She may look like a cat, but she has that golden retriever energy. I love it. Very enjoyable. And again, it was built well in with the... With the Alexandrian and the Solution 9 stuff into it as well. 100 <laughs> absolutely golden retriever energy lots of growth yeah it's about her the thing is with her story she explains it herself so if you didn't know i don't think i have to explain that to you gwen but or anyone else who has been through the story her whole thing is that she thought she knew the other cultures throughout the continent simply because she had seen it or talked about or heard about it but she had to be involved in it she's supposed to be stepping up as a leader and that's what she learned. She is not... She was... A lot of people compared her to... Lise from Stormblood. I think it's... A, that was a far too harsh of a comparison. Lise's problem was is that she... As much as she... It was... A, although she kind of uh, acted somewhat humble, she always kind of became very quickly boastful and overconfident. And she bit off way more than she could chew. And then she constantly, despite the fact that we were that we did most of the work, she seemed to be getting way too much credit for it. And this, they they understood that that's kind of what we needed to be done. We we had it to be a bit more pushed to the back, because this wasn't about us help helping out fending off a foreign invasion. It was a, it wasn't even like a comp it was political, but it wasn't like a full on civil war. It was a story of. Well, as you say it yourself, Gwen, it's about growth. It's about understanding. That's the whole thing why uh, Galul Jaja did what he did. He wanted to create growth. He wanted to see if his kids could um, prove themselves to be competent, and capable leaders. And let's be honest, I think the man would be proud to see what his what his two kids did. It was the best way to go about it. Yes, things did involve, involve of course. We kind of all knew that Galul Jaja probably wasn't going to see the end of it. And the way he ended may have been a little brutal, but again, not unexpected. So, yeah, what is there to say? But I think Zerol Jaja's story was... It's clear that despite his accomplishments, despite everything he did, it f it's clear that he was dealing with his own uh, uncertainties and insecurities. On that matter he was unsure whether he was really worth of being the lead there that he needs to be how are you anyway i'm doing quite well dolly how are you today already starting already prepping for the trip i'm assuming <laughs> what you would call a trip but i've been doing well just had went to get a haircut today and it was good enough weather for weekly walks again, so... Went for a nice walk, and it was good weather, so... Couldn't, not too hot, not too cold, dry, not too much wind, so... I enjoyed the weather quite a bit today. So... Yeah, what is there to say? Outside of that, just... Mostly, it has been in, uh... Well, not too busy, but... Made another clip on the channel. As in, on the Twitch channel. From the point... From my reaction of uh, Kafchiwa. It's like that. I was like, yeah, I'm turning. I'm almost tempted to just take that entire recording and me clipping out all all, all the bits of me just fucking simping over Kafchiwa. My girlfriend packed a huge bag. I haven't started yet. Well, don't, don't let me stop you from doing that. But again, like I said, I think that the story was quite well. And I think that my biggest, like I said, some of the pacing felt a little off, like, back, usually when you came to, like, uh, the conclusion of one of the acts, felt like we suddenly, we went from leisurely paced to suddenly having to take a sprint to get, to run us through it. But I still think it was very well done from start to finish with how they did it. Again, it's a story of us seeing a new world, Meeting the people. And just generally relaxing. You're not stopping me. It's my ADHD. Ah. That I can understand. 
But yeah, I think that that's pretty much what I have to say. I think Dante's story was quite well done. For what it's supposed to be. I think that that's, that's how people should see it. You need to see the story for what, how it is presented, not the story that you presumed it would be. But yeah, I think we can skip on the rest now. And get to the next bit. Yeah, this thing is still a confusing thing to me. Make you wonder how the next expansion will be. And you haven't seen the expert dungeons or raids. No, not yet. Not sure if I'm gonna get to that just yet. I'm talking story-wise for the time being. I'm sorry, we haven't been able to talk properly. Oh, between the reconstruction work and Papa's funeral, I've hardly had time to breathe. Unsurprisingly there. Come on in, come on in. But at long last, oh, there's a law in my duties. You've done more for us than we could ever hope to repay. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. When we left the Orsia behind to take part in the contest, none of us could have predicted what complications would follow. The executive is my dysfunction till I zone out for 12 hours. <laughs> Yeah, you truly believe me, I had that same trouble, my friend. Hey, it's not so much that I find the trouble, the trouble finds me. And you wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, no, no, no. I, so what's next I get for bored. You? Assuming you're still set on leaving the leaner's life behind? Wait, what? I'm off to fulfill my mother's dream, of course. Ah! Like she had intended, I'll embark on a journey in search of the unknown. She's sure to enjoy my stories when we meet again in the Ethereal Sea. Does that mean he's going to be in more future content? Yes, please. I like Aaron, though. Just a relaxing well, dude. Well, well. Sounds like a plan. But will you have the coin to get by? <laughs> he's going to start raiding your treasury, Wuklamat. I may no longer be a cleaner, but I still have contacts in Charlien. Contacts with deep pockets, always eager to pay for information on new or rare species. Ah, <laughs> networking. You got it all worked out. And knows what he's doing. And what of you? Any new adventures in the offing? Well, I haven't tried the tacos yet, so. Regardless, until you're ready to leave, you're our guest here in Tulijola. And this time, I won't pester you to take up a post. <laughs> By now, I know you well enough to know you can't stay in one place. No more than you can ignore the plight of those in need. Is this at some point, is this going to be acknowledged that the Warrior of Light is just suffering from ADHD himself or herself? Your path will always lead you elsewhere. And you'll continue walking it. Isn't that so? <laughs> you couldn't stop me An even if you wanted to. You are. What is it exactly that spurs you on? Do I get to ask the answer then? <laughs> All the sights I've yet to see. That is the ADHD and adventure hungry is not the same. Fair enough. <laughs> I'll go with this one. All the sights I've yet to see. <laughs> that key is still going to be an is obviously going to be an important plot device. Uh oh. That's Fiend's crown. Is that going to be connected in some way? Alright, let's wrap things up. And then I think it's a good time for a little break. Well, as much as I'd love to keep chatting, I need to get going. There's a heap of things to do, and I wouldn't want to leave it all to corner. By the way, did Gruja decide to remain in Solution 9? He did. I said he, that he can consider Duli Holal his home. So he's more comfortable over there. Shale keeps an eye on him for us. But we'll visit him as often as we can. He still needs our support, especially while he's agonizing over his inherited authority. 
No, I told him he needn't make a decision right away. We can't postpone it forever, either. I'll do whatever I can to help the Luja, as well as everyone inside the dome. I promise this much to see. For my part, I'll be keeping to Tural for the time. Among other things, I'd like to look into the problem with the wildlife in Shulani. Shaloni. Uh, so if you get the urge to do one, let's go on another journey together. There's still plenty of places I would like to show you. There is a good point about that. Like, the uh, wildlife was agitated way before this whole mess started. Now that sounds like fun. You ever need of me? I'll come running. Oh, and before I forget, I also have a gift for you. Can you guess what it is? Hmm. Is it the bike? An alpaca! Oh, god damn it. It comes from Topley's stable, of course. Uh, and it's as sure footed as they come. Perfect for an adventurer who's always on the move, eh? Uh, here, this is the whistle for calling it. No. Oh, I was so hoping for the bike. Not oh, god damn it, god bless. It's a fucking alpaca! Right, 